Okay friends, it's time to get started on our blower motor resistor. If you were to look along the passenger side rear of the engine compartment, you're going to see the area where the blower motor is. Coming down just below the blower motor along the inboard side, you're going to be able to find the resistor. It has a wiring harness and it has two bolts that hold it in place. You could easily reach down in this area and carefully remove it. Obviously that's going to be a little bit hard to see on camera where everything's in the way. I'll get some of this out of the way so you can have a better view. So we're going to have to start getting this out of the way. We have the air filter box that needs to get moved. We'll come right over to the mass airflow sensor, squeeze on the tab where my thumb is, and go ahead and pull it off of there. Every time you disconnect an electrical connector, give it a peek. If you see any funny colors, it's probably corrosion and that would need to be dealt with. Now the next thing that we want to do is remove the inlet tube that leads to the engine. You're going to find an 8 millimeter headed clamp that you can carefully loosen just enough that you can break this free. If you don't have an 8mm, you could also use a flathead screwdriver for this. Now I'll grab onto the box and the air inlet tube and give it a little wiggle to try to separate the two. Now let's move along here and disconnect our clips. Pop that free. And another one right here. Let's get this box out of the way and remove the air filter. While you have that out, give it a close inspection. If it needs to be replaced, now's the time to do it. Now we can remove the lower box. I'll just grab onto this and I'm gonna to try to lift it up. There's gonna be two little pitons that hold it in place along the bottom and two along the fender. There we are. Looking at the bottom, you can see there's one here, there should be one there, and two others that go into the fender. We'll go ahead and set this aside. Now we'll move down here. We're gonna remove our 10 millimeter headed mounting nut. Now we're going to pause on the coolant reservoir slash washer fluid reservoir mounting bolts. Let's continue on over here to the cruise control. You're going to find one 10 millimeter headed bolt and then that holds a bracket that holds this in place. Go ahead and remove that bolt. Let's set this aside carefully so we make sure not to damage it in any way. Now at this point, we're going to continue on by removing our two 10 millimeter headed bolts along the fender and then our one 11 millimeter headed bolt along the back. Let's move along to the rearward 11 millimeter nut. Let's grab onto this. We're going to give it a little wiggle and slide it a little bit. There we are. Let's move along to disconnecting the wiring for this. You can see that there's a large tab that you can carefully grab onto, pull it away, and remove the wiring from the blower motor. Quick corrosion check. Set it aside. Now if you were to feel up along the blower motor, you can find a rubber ring. You'll notice that that goes all the way over to this rubber hose. We're going to carefully remove this rubber ring and slide the rubber hose away from the blower motor. Give that a quick inspection. Make sure it's soft and pliable and it's not torn or worn or damaged in any way. You will be reusing this. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Now we can start dismounting the blower motor from the assembly. You're going to find four 8 millimeter headed bolts going around this that hold it in place. Remove all four and then carefully slide your blower motor out, being very careful for any wiring along the way. Go all the way down here. There's one.
Last one. Let's grab onto that blower motor, give it a little wiggle and remove it from the vehicle. Now I went ahead and I got a whole bunch of stuff out of the way so the camera can see. Like I said, you do not need to remove any of the things that I did to be able to access this. You can reach right on down, carefully grab onto this boot and just slide it right off of there. At that point, it would just hang off to the side. Now with that hose out of the way, let's continue on down to the electrical connector. I'm gonna use a pick and carefully try to get underneath this ear. I'll gently lift it up and try removing the wiring from the resistor. There we are. So now you can have a close look at this. We wanna give it a close inspection for the corrosion. You can see one of the ears right here that we could easily access. The other one's underneath. But once you break one free, generally just wiggling around the harness will make it so the other one comes loose as well. We'll set that aside. Now you're gonna to wanna to reach down in here and remove the two eight millimeter headed mounting bolts. There it is, friends. Okay, friends, now it's gonna be time to install your blower motor resistor. You just wanna carefully bring this down into this position. If you were to look at the bottom of the resistor, you can see it has several notches on either side. Those go facing down. And just reach right on down through here and slide it into its proper position. That should slide right into position. Now we'll start in both of our mounting bolts. Once each of them are started, go ahead and snug them up. Now it's time to reinstall the wiring. We're gonna have it so you have the two tabs facing towards the passenger side and the singular tab facing towards the engine. Listen for a double click, give it a wiggle to make sure it's secure. When you look at the blower motor, you're gonna see it came with a new gasket. You're gonna be wanting to use that gasket. But what you're gonna find is typically it's hard to get the holes to line up and stay that way while you continue putting it all together. So all I do is just turn the gasket until all of my holes line up. After that, I just use a thin amount of electrical tape in two areas. That'll hold it in place, and now we can get this installed in the vehicle. As I start sliding this in, I wanna be paying attention to the electrical connector. That needs to be facing towards the fender or towards where I'm standing. Go ahead and slide it right in here. While I'm doing this, I'm being very careful for the wiring. I don't need any wiring inside of the box behind the blower motor. It's not gonna function right, and it's probably gonna damage something. Now we're just gonna spin this until it lines up. If you were to look at the box right here, you can see that it has a little piton that comes shooting right out of there. Up above that little piton, there's a bolt hole. Now, if I was to spin this blower motor so that this is facing where I need it to be, the piton should line up with the first hole and the bolt hole and the one up a little higher. There we are. Go ahead and slide that up there. Now we can start in all four of our mounting bolts and then we'll snug them up. Lower bolt in here.
Now it's going to be time to reinstall the rubber hose. This large area right here needs to go onto the box, right down along this area. Before we put that on, we're going to go ahead and put this rubber strap around the blower motor. After that, we'll line this up and slide this into the hole that goes into the blower motor. You can see there's a groove on this hose. It needs to fit right in there. The strap will hold it in place and then we'll continue on to this area of the hose. Now we'll swing this down and put it in position on the box. Now let's reattach this wire. Slide it up, listen for a click. Now let's grab this, we'll get it back in position. You wanna slide it over the stud over here and the one that's behind the tank. Once you have both of those slid into position, let's continue on with our two mounting bolts that hold this to the body. Snug them up. Now we'll move along to our two lower mounting nuts. The 10 millimeter nut goes along the front and the 11 goes pretty much in the same spot but on the back side of the reservoirs. Get this one on as well, then we can snug them up. Now it's going to be time to remount the cruise control unit to the body of the vehicle. Looking where my index finger is, there's a tab that protrudes out like this. It's going to slide into a hole in the fender. Up along the top, you have one bolt hole. That's a threaded bolt hole. So we're just going to go ahead and slide this in and underneath the fender lip here. We'll slide it up there and then line up our mounting bolt hole. Start that mounting bolt in and snug it up. Go ahead and slide this in here. Ugh. Now we're gonna line up those bottom bushings as well. This one's kind of the hardest point. You just gotta really push it and line it up. Once you do, you should be able to slide it in. Give it a tug, make sure it's secure down there. Let's get the air filter in there. Time for the upper air filter box. Looking at this, you're gonna find that you have three mounting tabs. Looking at the bottom of the box, there's three holes. You know what to do, line them up, slide it in, lock it in. Grab this hose right here, slide it in there. Mm -hmm. There we are. Go ahead and pull this down. Now I'm gonna reach down here and I'm gonna reach for my locking clips. We'll swing this up and over, latch it down. There's two of them. Make sure you tighten your eight millimeter headed clamp. You don't want any dirty or unmetered air making its way into the engine. Reconnecting your mass airflow sensor. And then let's make sure that this line is inside the air inlet. Okay friends, we got the truck back together. At this point, go ahead and put the key in the on position. Test the blower motor. Make sure it functions in all speeds. Aside from that, thanks for watching.